Welcome to GCN's new series of cycling meets cookery, basically, hosted by none other than celebrity cycling chef nutritionist extraordinaire Hannah Grant, to my right, and to my left, our first guest, none other than Tyler Farrer of Dimension Data. Welcome, Tyler. Thanks for having Quick me. Quick handshake. What we're going to do, we're going to be cooking something quite special today. We're in Belgium, we're in Flanders in particular, just ahead of the Tour of Flanders. I mean, Talk us through what we're going to have. There is, nothing else, uh, there is nothing else to do here than, I mean, Brussels sprouts, of course, the, the, the cabbage that originated from here. We're going to do something with that. We're going to do the healthy fish and chips. We're okay. going to do a nice pan-fried cod. We're going to get lots of like superfoods in, ginger, blueberries, lots of uh, nice antioxidants to get these riders going. So how long is this going to take? Because me and Tyler, we've got, we've got a couple of beers on the go. We're just going to relax, shoot the breeze a little bit. So what? So you're just about to prepare the food. How long are we waiting? Well, this is a very, very fast and easy thing. It's what we call the Bora 1010. Okay. So uh, basically that is 10 minutes prep, 10 minutes cooking time, and then that you're ready good. to eat. Easy it's uh, super easy, everyone can do it. And I mean, it's healthy. That's the way to go. So Flandre and fish and chips and Brussels sprouts. Exactly. I can't wait. Far away. All right. Meanwhile, we're having some beer. All right. Quermont beer. <laughs> are you right having a quick beer, Tyler? Works pour, for me. Pouring his own. What a yeah. pro. <laughs> now, Tyler, I've got to ask you, you're an American chap, as we know, riding for an African team, but you're an honorary citizen in Ghent. So, so where, where's home for you? Ah, uh, cheers, boy. Cheers. Thanks nice for one. having me. Um, home is still America for sure. It's, uh, you know, it's where my family is. It's where I go back to. Now here I am on a South African team with guys from something crazy like 15 nationalities. So, like I say, kind of citizen of the world at this point. <laughs> so, we're at the Tour of Flanders is only. 36 hours away. You've been fifth in this race before. Let's, I tell you, we're talking about results. Three stage wins in the Vuelta, yeah. two stage wins in the Giro, a stage win in the Tour de France, winner of the Shell de Prix as well, fifth in Flanders. Just how special is this race? Because it really is something quite special, isn't it? Uh, in my opinion, Sunday Tour of Flanders is the, the best day of racing of the whole year. Tour of Flanders requires such a complete rider. It throws a little bit of everything at you with cobblestones, hills, wind, rain, all compressed down into, into six hours of racing. And I think uh, no one wins Tour of Flanders by luck or by accident. So there's, there's something unique about it for sure. So right now we're gonna do the vinaigrette. So we're uh, working with ginger. So this is good for the riders if they have sore joints and uh, getting a little bit cold. I mean, okay. it's been a bit rainy here. Yep. So the good thing about like battling that is what we do with the ginger. And uh, the nice seared potatoes and then our beautiful Brussels sprouts. 46 years of age, still scared of sprouts. Yeah, you know, what, you know what, T today's gonna be a new day for you, I okay. promise. I mean, Tyler, what would be your ideal food pre-race? Um, no, I think nutrition's a huge factor in your performance as a cyclist, so you need, you need something that's really balanced. Obviously, you need a lot of carbohydrates because it's, it's a long race and you need fuel, <laughs> and mostly quantity. It's just getting as much yeah. in you as you possibly that's, can. That's the thing you learn as a cycling chef is that once you've cooked for your mom and dad at home, and when you start cooking for riders, it's a whole new world. Yeah, you guys eat a lot. Yeah. Well, there's good, I know there's gonna be chips. I mean, I've not eaten all day, so I'm just a bit worried about your quantities chip-wise. I mean, this is gonna be new potatoes, so we're boiling the new potatoes. I mean, okay. who doesn't love new potatoes? Again, also a very, very classic thing from this area. We're gonna sear them off at the tepan to make them nice and crisp and have that okay. kind of, uh, like, uh, french fry feel, but without the, the deep frying. Good stuff. That's gonna be Sounds good. Great. I'm gonna go, uh, yeah, strain my potatoes. Are you a cook? Do you like preparing your own food? Well, back home in Ghent, are you quite particular about your food? Um, I can cook for myself if I have to, but it doesn't come out looking anything like I think we're gonna have in a, in a few minutes here. It's, uh, it gets the job done, but it's never pretty. So what about on the bike? Um, personally, I'm a big fan of the rice cakes that have kind of taken over cycling over the last few years. Yep. And but yeah, you know, just a handful of rice cakes, maybe uh, a few little paninis of some sort, you know, a little, little bread and Nutella and honey, something like that. Just things that go down really easy. Good stuff. We must be nearly at the cooking phase exactly. now. Exactly. I'm actually moving down towards the, the induction and the, the tepan where we're going to make the 
fries. Okay, so, th so these are parboiled. Yeah, so they're just boiled too. I mean, they're a little bit more raw than you would eat them okay. like boiled. Yep. But that's because we're going to heat them up again at the tap pan so you don't want them to mush out. So we're going to do about four or five minutes uh, full gas on the heat. Okay. And then until it, they caramelize, because they are more or less cooked. So it's just about giving them the, the crisp and like the flavor of, uh, of the seared surface. And the same thing's going to happen with the Brussels sprouts. Okay, I'll leave you doing those potatoes. Looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to change the subject entirely. Let's talk about your hair. You've got the longest hair in the pro peloton, I reckon. I think it's just a, it a me from? thing. Um, it just happened. I've had long hair off and on my whole life. And I don't know, I cut my hair about two, two and a half years ago and then just kind of stopped. <laughs> It's quite long at the moment, yeah, it's getting there. So basically we're searing off the new potatoes. Okay. So uh, until we get like a beautiful caramelized uh, surface like That's that. That's looking good. That so is it's, good. It's, it's, it's having a crisp without like, okay. like a chip without a chip, basically. And then with the new potatoes, that just okay. tastes wonderful. So here's the dangerous part, the Brussels sprouts. Yeah. They're hissing at you, as you can hear. But yeah. they're going to be your friends in a moment. So I put them down raw, just a bit of olive oil, a bit of salt. And then, as you can see, they turn kind of like dark green here, which okay. means they kind of steam in their own way. I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm encouraged. You're, you're, I know, you're, and they, you're winning me over slowly. So when are you going to put the fish on? Is that, I guess that's going to be last, because that doesn't that take too exactly. long, Exactly. We're, okay. about, we're about six minutes for a piece, uh, a pretty thick piece like that. So I'm actually going to slowly start up now, because I'm also going to do a little nice plating for you guys. Okay. Let's, go, let's go back a little bit to, you, to your formative years. What's the most important piece of advice that you've ever been given? Uh, definitely the advice that I give to, to youngsters and that I was lucky enough to have given to me when I was young is to make sure you're enjoying it. But I think when it comes to especially kids, you know, just have fun with it. If you want to go mountain biking, go mountain biking. Yeah. Check it out. Try a cyclocross race. Get on the track. Just try different things and see what grabs your fancy. My nostrils are just filled with the most beautiful smell. I don't think it sprouts. I think it's new potatoes. It's not <laughs> fish yet. So now we're going to make this like nice warm uh, kind of salad with your new favorite things, the Brussels sprouts. So just give it a bit of zest, like give that nice like tangy kind of fruity lemon okay. uh, flavor to it. We're going to do the blueberries. We're going to like mix them up basically. Give it the ginger dressing. When the fish is ready, we plate it up, potatoes on the side, and you're going to be very happy that you ate so, the Brussels sprouts. So the today. fish is just going at the moment, I believe. It is I'm just going at the moment, yeah. Come on guys, just on the other here. This is a really, really nice piece of caught fish. And the, the trick to basically any fish is to salt fish once you've cut it. Okay. Let it sit for about 10 minutes whilst you prep all your other things because that will take out the excess moisture. Right. So when you cook it, it won't release moisture, which means it's going to be a little bit crisp and nice. It's going to be nice and firm. And what you want to do is take a hot pan, olive oil, a bit of salt, put your fish on, cook it about 60%. Okay. Then you flip it. Then you turn down the, the heat and then it right. kind of like sits uh, at low heat to, to finish. This means you're going to have very, very nice, juicy, perfectly cooked flaky fish. And this works for all fish. Great stuff. Well, I'll exactly. leave you to it. I'm Perfect. You're going to eat in a few so minutes. I'm hungry. I'm really, I'm really, really hungry. Getting back to the beer while the fish is kind of going over there. Let's, let's lay, put your cards on the table. Worst ever person to room with. Um, I'm not going to say he's the worst because I roomed with him a lot, but Danny Pate could, uh, could be a pig pen okay. at times. Um, we kind of had a strict rule that things just had to stay on his half of the room. As long as it didn't come into my half, I didn't care the state of it, but his half was a disaster zone a lot of the time. But all that being said, I'm sure there's a lot of guys that would label me as one of the worst roommates because I don't uh, sleep standard cyclist hours. Yeah, but meanwhile, it's been plated up. Yeah, I know. Fantastic. It's, we're we're, we're, uh, we're getting close. Let's have a quick shift. This looks. That is a pretty, uh, pretty uh, healthy version of a fish and chips. We've got it's, no batter, it's but we've got. unrecognizable fish and chips. Yeah. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Lots of love, lots of uh, beautiful flavors. Wow. And uh, so this it's ginger amazing. vinaigrette, you've got a bit of apple vinegar, you've got a bit of honey just to sweeten it up. Okay. And then, of course, the ginger, which just makes it really, really warm and wonderful. And then we're just going to finish it off with a bit of uh, lemon zest, and then uh, I think you guys are ready to uh, have you try got, some tasty. Have you got some for yourself? Yeah, I'm going to take a little bit. I don't want to leave I'm you gonna, out. No, no, no. I'll, I'll have a, I'll, I've been eating whilst you've been uh, talking. Okay, about right. We didn't, I didn't notice that. So a little bit of lemon zest. Yeah. Tyler, I, I guess. And, and again, thanks for coming. Hopefully uh, that's thank you very much. just reward and there is for more, doing don't, this don't, show. Okay. Don't, don't worry. There's more potatoes and more so, fish coming up. So, so we got this beautiful cart. We've got these really, really nice, like, uh, French fries, uh, French fries style uh, potatoes, new potatoes. Then we've got the Brussels sprouts and uh, blueberries with the, the lemon zest and the ginger dressing. That's the trick to it. Enjoy. We're not going to stand uh, on so much. I might just go brave and have a sprout on its own. I think own. you should. I think you should. 
Oh, Good. moment of truth. It's really quite nice. Passed the test? I was actually properly, uh, my heart was racing. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. Oh, brilliant. What do you reckon? Amazing. We're going to, yeah, just, yeah, that's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you get really, that, really, that really, really nice nutty flavor with that. Mm. And then the, I mean, the, the little zing of the ginger is crazy. It's it's it gives you that warmth of that. And that vinaigrette will, I mean, that you could have done that with lean meat as well. The ginger works so well with it. Hannah, thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Accompanied by Belgian beer as well. I mean, cheers. Cheers. I'm going to drink at the bottom. Well, thanks, Hannah. Cheers. There's obviously more of these videos to come. But while we're in Flanders, eating Flandrian food, how about clicking up here for our top 10 facts about the cobbled classics, or clicking down here, just in front of Tyler, where Johan Museo, arguably the king of the cobbles, shows you how to climb cobbled climbs. And to subscribe to GCN, as ever, click on the globe, which will be floating around this little box. And meanwhile, we're just going to finish our gorgeous food.